this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's A Wonderful World. And I'm going to be totally honest with you all now, I am feeling a little bit scared. I'm in hard mode now, so everything's new, everything's scary, everything I don't know, and it's all stronger and badder, and yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit of a, a scary time right now. Lee Bear isn't here as well, I'm all by myself, which means I don't even have someone else to be scared with me. <laughs> even though Lee Bear would be just as scared and clueless as I was, at least we'd be scared and clueless together. Now I'm scared and clueless all by myself, that's no good, is it? <laughs> uh, but it's okay, I have a plan now, I am now a cat with a plan. Rather than just bumbling around crazily and uh, yeah, getting killed by lots of things that I don't know, uh, I've done a little bit of research and uh, I've worked out uh, a good uh, little guide for um, uh, for what I think I should do first. And the first thing I want to do uh, is to mine some of the uh, the cool new blocks uh, that I've been able to find. And uh, to do that, I need a molten pickaxe. And if I was prepared, I would have already made a molten pickaxe because all I need is hellstone bars and I can uh, get them myself pretty easily. But I didn't get one. Uh, I do have um, uh, quite a few. I think I've got 16 hellstone bars already and I need 20 uh, in order to uh, make myself uh, the, the pickaxe. Uh, so I only need to go and get uh, enough hellstone to make a few more. And oh, hello. Hello. Hello, you. You look new. What's your name? Random material. I think the chances are I'm not going to be able to mine this because I think my pickaxe isn't strong enough. No, you see I'm just sort of jiggering it around a little bit. Yeah, so basically uh, the reason I need the molten pickaxe is so I can- Oh, hello you as well! Oh, right, is this thing going to be really strong and immediately kill me? A toxic slime. Nope, I was able to take it out. Yay! And a green jellyfish down there. Yeah, so this molten pickaxe basically uh, enables me uh, to mine a uh, cobalt or palladium. Palladium? Palladium. Or some other ore, basically. And uh, once I've mined that, I can make either a pickaxe or a drill out of that and use that to mine uh, basically the, the next up, which is a mithril or orchalalium nom nom nom. Something along those lines. <laughs> oh dear, if I was reading it, it'd be okay, but I'm kind of trying to read while running, so it's not very easy. And then, yeah, I can make a... Oh, oh, armored skeleton, armored skeleton. Is he tough? Is he tough? Of course he's tough. He's an armored skeleton. Oh, yeah, basically, and then once I've mined them, I can make tools to basically get the next tier up. So I'm basically uh, trying to get all of the materials I need uh, to make a pickaxe or a drill, and I can use that pickaxe or a drill to, to mine uh, basically the tier up of items. And does that make sense? Sure. Of course it does. Of course it does. But I'm a little bit worried now, though, because I need to get some hellstone bars. And uh, yeah, the underworld was tough enough as it was, and uh, now it's going to be even tougher. And oh, look at that! Just floy flying zombies. And let me just see what this stuff is. Is there any chance of me being able to mine this? Am I just going to poke it around a little bit? Yep, I'm just poking it around a little bit. And oh no, where are all these things? Where are all those things down there? Oh, I don't like this. Okay, all I need to do is get a little bit of hellstone and then immediately get out of there. But I'm getting owned by these things, whatever these things are. I don't even want to fight these things. I just want to get past them to get to the underworld. Oh no, he's going to get me. He's going to get me in. Right. That didn't go very well. I need to get that hellstone. Well, let me see how much hellstone I have. Let me just make sure that I don't have any more here. So I got uh, 16 bars. And uh, is it three hellstone I need to make each bar? And uh, I got plenty of obsidian as well. So let me go uh, to the, the hellforge. And uh, let me just double check what we need to make the bars. Because it is going to be very tough uh, to get to the underworld. Oh! I've got a new guide. Uh, Levy the guide has arrived. Jolly good. He can come and uh, join the family. I should get a, a bunch of new NPCs joining me as well. So uh, where are the, the bars? They should be somewhere uh, around here. And I think it is three that I need. And look at all of these new things. Look at all of these new and exciting things that I can't make yet. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I need... Um, uh, I need three hellstone ore, and uh, then the, um, well, three hellstone, and then the, um, uh, yeah, the, the obsidian as well. So, uh, yeah, I still do need to get some more. I'm going to have a quick look at some of these chests down here, just uh, by the off chance that I have some. Because, oh, what was this? What was this? Oh, no, that's not it. That's the one that looks like it. Oh, that's Crimtain Bar. Why would you look so similar but be different? That's just mean. <laughs> no, I don't think think there is any more any more hellstone in here there's none uh, than I can see right what I'm gonna do then so I'm gonna go back down but this time I am not gonna stop at all I think the problem was uh, I was stopping to try and fight them and I think what I should do is just keep going just keep like fighting them isn't gonna work I ob I'm obviously not tough enough uh, but as soon as I've uh, got some of these, uh, this cobalt or uh, something similar, uh, then yeah, I'll be able to, to start making some stronger armor and getting some better weapons. And then I will not be being owned all of the time. And I also, uh, if I can, want to make myself a better weapon. Ooh, 
It might actually be worth, hold your horses one second, it might actually be worth trying to get a better weapon first and then using that weapon uh, to survive going down. And so what I want to make is called a phaser burr. Phaser burr, I think that's how I said it, phaser burr, something along those lines. <laughs> and it's basically an upgrade to the uh, the phase blade. Remember the phase blades? Uh, the things that kind of look like lightsabers, they go warm, warm, and you swing them around. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, we well, can basically upgrade them uh, by using something called crystal shards. And I need to get 50 of these crystal shards, but apparently they're pretty common, and you find them from the underground hollow. And the hollow is the uh, the biome that I went to in the last episode of all of the pixies and the unicorns and as happy and bright and colourful as it sounds, uh, it was pretty deadly. So this is going to be uh, no walk in the park. I think I might use my, my laser rifle. How much damage does my laser rifle do? 29 uh, damage. Yep, that is uh, pretty powerful. So I think this is going to be uh, my best weapon to use and I can use this to try and survive long enough uh, to get down to the, the underground. So if I just keep shooting and running, shooting and running and uh, here we go. This is now the, the underground hollow. Um, yeah, it's not very underground. I think I need to find a, a, la a place a little bit deeper than that if I can. All right, let's keep running. I might go and use this a little bit more. Actually, if I have this potion, uh, this is going to put up my magic uh, as well as uh, all of my health. So that will be handy. Right, we're looking for crystal shards. And I have uh, never seen them before. Uh, so I don't really know what I'm looking for. Uh, but I'm guessing they should be quite obvious. Oh, actually, is this underground the... Uh, this might be down by the, the corruption. I think if I go to the left, uh, then I'm going to go properly underground the hollow. And there's a good chance uh, that I'm might get taken out very quickly down here uh, just because uh, there's going to be lots of baddies and uh, yeah so basically if I destroy these demon altars uh, it basically will spawn in more uh, all of the, of the ore so there we go my world has been blessed with mithril so uh, basically uh, every uh, three that so if I take out three I'll get a, a combination of all the uh, the different uh, ores and then if I destroy another three I can get another combination if that that makes sense I don't think I explained that very well but you might kind of get the idea so basically uh, as I destroy those altars uh, it spawns in these wraith things which can be a bit of a pain uh, but it also uh, spawns in the new good ores uh, but the bad thing is it also has a chance of spawning in other random ores like a uh, crimson or corruption or the hollow uh, around your world and uh, because they spread uh, that can be quite a bad thing because I don't want uh, my entire world uh, to be turned into either the corruption or the hollow or anything I want to try and keep it so there is some greenery and some uh, plants and trees and things uh, so what I might need to do and uh, I'll probably do it while not recording because it might get a bit boring uh, I might have to go around and uh, just try and uh, block off uh, everything from spreading because you can do that uh, you can basically go and uh, build walls uh, to block uh, things out uh, or you can go and um, uh, just leave gaps uh, so things can't spread uh, and then that way oh, oh what was this ah! That chest, the chest is coming after me. Oh no, it's really hurting me as well. It's really hurting me. Well, let's have a, a health potion, shall we? <laughs> that was horrible. That was nasty. Go away. Leave me alone. It's still coming after me. Leave me alone, you chest. <laughs> I'm supposed to get good loot from you. You're not supposed to attack me. All right, let's just stand here and swing the sword when they get close. The pixies I can deal with. The only problem is going to be if they over, um, yeah, if they uh, overwhelm me. And uh, what did I get? I got a thing there. I got a um, a violent star cloak. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Right, anyway, let's keep moving down. These pixies uh, are starting to overwhelm me a little bit, and I'm already quite hurt. So I want to try and uh, fight it at range if I can. Let's try and use the laser gun before it gets close. Unfortunately, my aim is absolutely awful. Can I even hit it at all? Oh, no, there's still more coming. There's still more coming. I knew this was going to be deadly. And no, no, look how many pixies there are. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Let's just try and run away. Let's try and run past them, run past them. There we go. I was able to take out a few of them. And oh, no, there's more just right here anyway. Right, just swing the sword. I think I'm going down here. I think I'm going down. Oh, I can have another healing potion. Go and drink it. Drink it up. Drink it up. Why aren't you drinking it? Why aren't you drinking it? Go and drink it. There we go. I was able to have the, the healing potion. I might just about be able to survive, but I still need to get uh, 50 of these crystal shards, and I have not seen one of them yet. I know they are supposed to spawn down here in the underground hollow, and uh, I'm sure this is the underground hollow. It's got to be. This is where all the, the pixies are. I, I don't know if this is officially the underground hollow. I know we're underground and this is the hollow, but I don't know if there's a kind of different looking area I'm looking for. Uh, there's some weird white things there. I'm not sure what they are. I can't actually find where any of the, the crystal shards are. And there we go. Uh, I was um, <laughs> taken out by the, uh, the toxic sludge. So yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to go back to plan number one. I think before trying to get to any of those places, I need to get some better armor. Uh, and uh, I need to do that uh, by getting some of the, the better ores. So what I'm going to do... And I'm going to go and try and head back down uh, to the underworld and uh, have another go trying to get the hellstone because I don't need very much. I think that if I just keep running from googlies and uh, oh, nearly killed the bunny there. I do not want to do that. I'm just <laughs> I'm just panicky. I'm just twitchy, attacking anything that moves. Oh uh, yeah, I think that if I um 
uh, just try and avoid most things, and instead of fighting them, just keep running, uh, then I think I might be okay. So let's have a, a healing potion for now, because uh, my health still isn't uh, fully back up uh, from when I died last time. So there we go. Instead of fighting these things, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run and just hope that they don't all chase me. And there's a chance they might all chase me, but I just need to kind of hope not. There we go. This is uh, working a little bit better. <laughs> instead of fighting, just run away like a coward. There we go. There's a good life lesson. If first you fail, then immediately just run away and don't try again. <laughs> right, okay, I can do this. I can do this. I'm uh, getting quite close to the, the underworld now. Uh, you can tell because it's all getting a bit more lavery. And oh, are these crystal shards actually? Are these things up here crystal shards? These look kind of crystally and shardy, but oh no, oh no, everything's caught up with me. Everything's caught up with me. Right, I've got to try and take them out So I want to see what that, see what that thing was. And uh, there we go. I was able to take them. Oh, got a soul of light as well there. Right, let's go and just see what that thing was. Uh, yes, that is. That's a crystal shard. Okay, but I do need 50 of them, so I'm not going to worry about that now as uh, it's going to be hard to gather them all up actually I might just grab the ones that I see on my way down uh, so these are all going to be spawning around here so I can just keep gathering these up there's a weird bat thing coming after me though so let's try and take that out there we go I was able to take out the bat and let's keep moving down so here we go at least I know uh, where to get these crystal shards from if I need any more I can just come all the way down here and uh, keep gathering them up and as I said I need uh, 50 of them and uh, then I combine that with my phase blade uh, to yeah get the uh, the upgraded phase blade and I'm getting these souls of lights as well I think they're going to be uh, useful for crafting things in the future. Anyway, I'm very nearly at the underworld. And oh, look, there's even more of them here. No, I think this is where I died before, so I want to be careful. Yeah, it looks like uh, getting these crystal shards uh, shouldn't be uh, too much of a problem, actually. And all right, here we go. We are at the underworld. I am a little bit worried about what new baddies we are going to find down here. And oh, I'm standing on something, but I can't really see what. Oh, here's my uh, <laughs> my big green giant that I built down here. And uh, let's go and try and gather up uh, some of this uh, hellstone then. This is the, uh, the difficult one to gather up, because uh, every time you destroy some, uh, a whole load of uh, lava comes out. Uh, seems to be though, uh, that most of the um, the baddies down here uh, don't seem to be any tougher than they used to be. I mean, they used to already be pretty tough anyway, uh, but they don't seem to have had uh, too much of an upgrade. And I really don't need too much of this. As I said, it's just very hard to gather because that happens. That was silly of me. <laughs> right, that wasn't a, a very good place to, to gather it from. The problem is, uh, most of the area around here, uh, I've already gathered a, a bunch from. Uh, so I'm actually just going to run across this bridge for a little bit uh, until I get a little bit further along and uh, then that way uh, I can go and try and find a place where I haven't got too much from. I'm gonna have a, a quick healing potion as well uh, just so I can get my health up a little bit and uh, yeah now I've moved along a little bit I can go and drop down here and uh, see if I can uh, yeah gather any more up find a, a good patch uh, where I can I can get some. I, I would be really good if I had one of those um, obsidian skin potions because uh, yeah using them uh, means you don't get hurt too much. Actually standing here and breaking it away underneath me uh, might be a good idea. There we go. I can break these away and it doesn't hurt me too much. I should be okay to break all of these away here. There we go. And I'm actually uh, able to, to gather them up even though they're quite far away. Right, I'm not going to stay there any longer. Uh, let me try and head my way up here. And here we go. Here's a, another quite good place to try and gather some up. If I break this away here, here and uh, here. There we go. I was able to get a little bit more and if I move down to this little bit here I can go and gather this bit up. There's a few bats underneath me and here we go. I knew they're gonna <laughs> eventually make their ways up to me and uh, if I go and climb around here I can go and take out this last hell bat and uh, let's go and uh, carry on trying to, to gather up a, a bit more. It's actually probably now one of the safest places for me to go down here because ha, most of the enemies seem to be the same even though they are tough and I've died from them many times they're not ridiculously tough like everything uh, seems to be on the the surface right now so uh, let me go and uh, gather up a, a little bit more from here and I think I've almost uh, probably got uh, enough to to make my molten pickaxe and then I can use that uh, to gather up some of the uh, the new ores that I've been uh, seeing when going around the place uh, so the next step uh, will be to go on a, a big mining trip uh, to try and find those ores and oh nope that is not what I meant to do I did not mean to, to jump in that lava there <laughs> I seem to be doing okay though let's go and uh, have myself uh, another healing potion uh, just to, to top myself up and oh no 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 don't fall in the lava I ran out of my jump <laughs> I ran out of my my little boost there all right let's go find uh, another good patch there's a uh, one more little bit down here I can't say no to it while I'm passing so let's gather that up and it looks like we got some uh, some pretty bad demons coming after me as well yep here they are no oh, here we go here is a good patch here's the mother load so once uh, I've taken out this demon uh, I can go and uh, try and gather up a, a bunch of this and oh nope that slime did make it up to me <laughs> I didn't think that slime would be able to, to get high enough and it looked like uh, he could so uh, yeah let's go and uh, break away all of this and uh, try and gather up a little bit more of the uh, the hellstone here if I place uh, a few blocks underneath me I should be able to, to get even more if I just place them uh, down like this and like along 
here? Oh, I can't because the lava's there, but I can at least stand to here and uh, gather up all of the, the hellstone, which is in a row along here. And I should probably uh, have almost enough now. I just want to get a little bit extra because uh, it's always kind of useful to have hellstone anyway. You can use it uh, to craft quite a lot of good things. I mean, I'm going to be crafting way better things now, uh, now that I'm in hard mode. But uh, yeah, it's always a handy uh, thing to have. And I'd always rather have uh, too much of something uh, than not enough. So let's go and uh, gather up a little bit more of this hellstone. And uh, there's these last two bits down here, which I can't say no to. And uh, then I'm going to magic mirror back to the house and, uh, yeah, start making myself a, uh, a molten pickaxe. Oh, actually... If I get even more, I could actually possibly make that better bow. Remember there was, if I combined two bows together, uh, I was then able to, uh, yeah, I was then able to, to make uh, an even better bow. Oh, but then again, I think Lee might have had the, uh, had the other one. Okay, so let's not worry about that. Let's uh, magic mirror back to the, uh, the old house then. And uh, let's see if I can now make myself my molten pickaxe. So that's the one I need uh, to get the, the cobalt or the palladium, I think the, uh, the other one's called. Uh, so let's go to the, uh, the chest. And actually, I think I grabbed most things I needed anyway. So if I just stand here, uh, I should be able to go along to Hellstone, which should be nicely lit up now. And uh, let's see how much I can make. There we go. I was able to make more than enough. And now I think uh, I hop down here to my anvil. And uh, then I go along to where I make my tools and things. And uh, there's going to be so many new things now. This is amazing. Uh, so let's go and uh, find where the, the pickaxes are. Have I gone past the pickaxes? Oh, no, the pickaxes are on this screen, aren't they? That's weapons. These are uh, all of the, the different tools. So here we go. Here are the, the pickaxes. Are any of them lit up? Hmm. Oh, I think, do I need wood as well, actually, possibly? Oh, no, that's the, the molten pickaxe. I need 20 of the of the, the hellstone bars. I have that, don't I? Oh, no, I've only got 11 on me there. Where are the... Where are the rest of the, the hellstone bars then? Did I put them in the chest? Did I? Oh, they're in the chest still. <laughs> I was terrified then. I was so scared <laughs> that I had done this wrong and that I would I didn't actually get a, enough things. So there we go. I did have what I needed. Uh, yeah, I was just looking in the wrong place. And there we go. I now have made myself my very own molten pickaxe. And so I can now use this pickaxe uh, to hopefully go and uh, gather up uh, some of the, the new ores. So uh, let's go and see if we can try and get some, some cobalt or something, shall we? Uh, I don't know what it looks like. Uh, yeah, I have absolutely no idea. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to go around hitting all the ores. And uh, if they break and allow me to gather them, then brilliant. That's exactly what we need. And uh, I was able to also uh, get myself uh, five of those crystal shards, as well as a whole bunch of other weird things, uh, which I can go and investigate. Got blink root and uh, yeah, a bunch of uh, new and exciting things. Lots of uh, pixie dust, which I'm sure ah, is going to be very useful once I work out what it does. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's go and... Oh, excuse guide is that is that where you're you've decided to go okay sure i'm not even going to question it i should probably actually start finishing off a few more of these rooms because if i start putting some more tables and chairs in i think i'm going to get a, a good chance to get a, a few new uh, npcs uh visiting me so uh, what I might do then is go back down where I'd gone before uh, because I seem to go past quite a lot of these different ores and uh, if I go down far enough I might uh, actually go back to down where the uh, the crystal shards were and gather up a few more of these. So here we go. This is the big blue patch. I reckon this might be cobalt maybe? Oh no, I'm using the wrong pickaxe. <laughs> I'm not even using my new pickaxe. I need to use my bulky molten one and here we go. Cobalt ore. This is exactly what we needed and there is absolutely loads of it uh, right here. So if I gather all of this up, uh, I will then be able to make either a uh, cobalt drill uh, or a cobalt pickaxe and I can use that to get uh, even more better different types of ore and I should also uh, be able to make some cobalt armor uh, which should be stronger than the the molten armor uh, that I'm uh, wearing already and I like this pickaxe actually I don't know why I didn't make this a uh, pickaxe earlier because it, uh, it looks really awesome I love the the fire that you can see as I'm swinging it around the place uh, so let me go and uh, gather all of this up and uh, then I'm gonna go and uh, I go down a little bit deeper uh, just to see if there are any other types of ore uh, that I can craft already and uh, there's some uh, some different ore directly underneath me uh, here and I'm not sure what that is I don't know if that's uh, one of the new ones to hard mode or just one that I didn't really see in my wonderful world before so let's go and gather these up and oh <laughs> sand falling on my head there <laughs> getting completely covered in sand here and let's go and break away uh, all of this and uh, go and uh, dig up this ore here if it lets me if it lets me so what is this stuff this is oh this is silver <laughs> this is silver oh I guess it's just um I guess it's just spawned a whole bunch of the original ores then because there's no way I wouldn't have gathered that there's no way I would have gone past a big patch of silver like that and just not bothered gathering it I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I think that uh, that has been spawned back in again. All right, let's go down a little bit further then and see uh, see what else we can uh, find. So I remember seeing a bunch of different ore. I should probably go around uh, with the um, the spelunker potion at some point, and that basically allows you uh, to um, 
uh, to see a, a whole bunch of um, of the ores glowing, uh, so you can uh, find them even easier. And there we go, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, but what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to gather up this cobalt, uh, go back to the house, uh, see if I can make myself the uh, the pickaxe or the drill. I'm not sure which one I want yet. I think I might go for the drill, just for a change. I think overall, I kind of like the preciseness of the pickaxe, uh, but seeing as I've never really used a drill much, apart from when I borrowed Lee Bears, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go and uh, use, a, use a drill. So let's go now and uh, see if I can make uh, all of this uh, cobalt. So if I go to the actually I need to go to the furnace which is right where I was anyway uh, let me see if I can make the the cobalt bars then shall we uh, that's the uh, the silver and oh here we go cobalt bars I can go and make a, a whole load of these and look look at all the things I can make a, a cobalt chainsaw is that a is that a weapon or is that instead of an axe I think that's instead of an axe Ah, that's quite cool. I don't want to waste it though. There's the drill, and uh, here's the. Oh, look, look at this. Oh, that's a war axe there. And uh, let's see what the pickaxe is like. Oh, I like these. I like these ones. Well, let's make the the drill then, shall we? And uh, I've only got four spare, so I'm glad I went and got that uh, extra um, uh, cobalt there. Then, so here we go. I now have a cobalt drill, which I can use uh, to gather up uh, even more uh, of the uh, the different special type of ores. But sadly, though, uh, we have just about run out of time in this episode. And the next episode, I'm gonna go and try and make myself the. Uh, um, the uh, phase bear, the new <laughs> type of weapon, and uh, try and uh, improve my armor and uh, other weapons uh, even further. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, plenty more exciting things to explore uh, in this uh, new hard mode version of Terraria. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later.